Imagine that you're going through a difficult time in your life, having recently asked your girlfriend to marry you and not only did she not accept, but she threw you out of the house. Now in a new apartment, while you're moving in, you end up making new friends with the cable TV installer, but this new friend is a bit extreme. You face ups and downs in this friendship, as the man creates an obsession with you that leads to problems in your personal and professional life. And now, how will you get rid of him? I'm Nina and in today's recap we're watching The Cable Guy. The story opens with the protagonist moving into his new home. After waiting for the cable installer for four hours, the man decides to take a shower and just then the installer arrives. Steven rushes to the door to stop him leaving and although the installer's methods are a little strange, he does his job very well. He introduces himself as Chip Douglas and as he's leaving, he arranges to take the protagonist to see the big antenna responsible for cable TV in the whole region. Steven even tries to wriggle out of the appointment, but the man gets what he wants in the end. In the next scene we see them there and discover that TV has always been a part of Chip's life. He tells us that when he was a child, his mother worked nights and as he didn't know his father, he ended up spending hours in front of the screen. The two also talked about Steven's situation with his ex-girlfriend Robin. Chip gave his new friend some advice in the next day. The woman asked him if he wanted to do something in the evening and the two arranged to meet at his apartment. During the day, Steven ends up inviting Chip to play basketball with his friends, but the man ends up ruining the game, which leads to a small argument between the two of them. And the protagonist says that they are not friends as Chip is implying. When he gets home, Steven checks his answering machine and out of 11, 9 were from Chip asking him to call him back. As their date was about to start, the protagonist just ignored him. Before watching a movie, Steven and Robin catch up. The man ends up venting about his boss and his job. When it's time to start the movie, as soon as the protagonist turns on his TV, it's off and the man begins to suspect that this is Chip's fault, so he calls the installer, who coincidentally knocks on his door at the same moment. Chip has a cable in his hand and makes a scene, saying how funny it is that Steven only calls when he needs help. In order for the protagonist to get his cable TV working again, he promises that he will go out the next day with Chip and soon the device is working again. In the next scene we see the two of them in a restaurant with a medieval theme. In the middle of the show, they are invited to join in and fight each other. Of course, this is Chip's doing, who seems to be taking the joke very seriously, so much so that he ends up tearing the clothes the protagonist is wearing. In the end, the two of them face off on horses and Steven accidentally ends up winning. Afterwards, they go to the protagonist's apartment and the man sees his living room full of new electronics, which Chip says are a gift for Steven being his friend. The protagonist doesn't think it's right to accept these things, but before Chip takes them back, they have a party at his apartment to enjoy karaoke. That day, Steven discovers that for Robin, taking a break means that they can go out with other people and since his wife is doing it, he gets very upset. Chip tries to cheer him up at the party and ends up receiving a gift as well. The protagonist has given him some material that will help him with his speech, since Chip is tongue-tied, and the man is thrilled with the surprise, saying that it means a lot to him. At the party, there's a beautiful unaccompanied girl, so Chip tells his friend that he has to have fun, since his ex-girlfriend is also there and pushes him towards her. In the end, the two of them go to the bedroom and in the middle of the fun, Chip enters with some other people and takes a photo to mark his friend's moment. The next day, while eating breakfast prepared by Chip, Stephen discovers that the woman from the night before worked as an escort, if you know what I mean, and it was his friend who hired her. The protagonist then feels betrayed and starts fighting with Chip, asking him to leave his house. Thinking it would be a way to improve things with Stephen, Chip goes to Robin's date with another man, attacks the man in the bathroom and tells him to stay away from Robin. The next day, Chip goes to the woman's house, saying that the protagonist has paid for an installation of all the channels released to her and while he's there, he speaks highly of Stephen, how he's a great friend and extremely fond of Robin. 
Chip even tells a story about how he had a girlfriend who asked him to marry her, but he turned her down and the two of them took a break, after which she died. So love should be lived every moment, because the person may no longer be there in the blink of an eye. This touched Robin's heart and as soon as the man left, she called the protagonist to tell him that she loved him and said that they shouldn't follow rules anymore. In the evening, when Stephen arrives home, Chip is waiting for him. The man thought that after having managed to help the protagonist with his ex-girlfriend, things would be fine between them, but that's not the case. The protagonist thanks him for his help, but says that he doesn't have room in his life for a new friend at the moment. So, from that moment on, things in Steven's life would be turned upside down, as Chip is determined to show him his worst side. The man tries to disrupt Robin's relationship with the protagonist, manages to get him arrested for the electronics he had received as a gift, which were actually stolen, and even gets himself fired after a recording of Steven talking to Robin about his boss is leaked in the office. After all this, the protagonist asks his best friend Rick to investigate Chip, to find out his real name and his past. And while he was in prison, Robin and Chip got close, so when Steven went to his parents' house for dinner, the woman invited the man to join her and the protagonist had to put up with him all night. Steven even calls him into a corner and asks him to leave, or at least stop all this that he's doing. But Chip says he's teaching him a lesson and if the protagonist tries to do anything against him, the man will show Robin the photo of Steven in bed with his date. Chip teases the protagonist all night, until Steven can't take it anymore and ends up punching him, which is exactly what Chip wanted, so his own family starts to believe that the protagonist is out of control. Rick returns to Steven in the next few days, he discovers that Chip doesn't actually have that name, as expected, and that the man isn't even a cable installer at the moment, he was fired a while ago. Later, Chip calls the protagonist to tell him that he's going for a drive with Robin and that he'd like him to meet up with them. Now Steven is worried that Chip might really be a nutter. The protagonist goes to the antenna and finds the woman hanging from a rope. Chip and Steven end up fighting each other and in the end, they end up at the top of the antenna with Robin. The woman is released from the rope and the protagonist makes sure that Chip doesn't do anything to her. As Chip realizes that there is nothing more to be done, he decides to throw himself from up there and ends up falling on top of the antenna, which ends up disrupting the transmission of all the TVs in the area, but the man is fine. In the next scene we see Chip inside the helicopter being taken to the emergency unit to be treated and the man who rescued him says that everything will be fine, that he is his friend and will be there to help him. The man doesn't know what the consequences of these words will be for him in the future, because it looks like we've met Chip's new victim. What did you think of this movie? I hope you enjoyed the summary, leave your suggestions in the comments and subscribe. If you liked the video, like it and share it to help me. See you next time.